In the telling of Northwest history, one group of people is often overlooked. I just love making it come alive. Lisa Kranzler is dedicated to shining a spotlight on our region's Jewish community. As the executive director of the Washington State Jewish Historical Society, Lisa, along with archivist Ryan Donaldson, find, preserve, and share the stories of this vibrant community. Giving a face, we're kind of um, bringing the voice back. They oversee a vast collection of images and sounds that paint a colorful picture going back more than 150 years to the time the first Jewish settler arrived in our region. 1845, in Tacoma. Waves of migration brought artisans, tradesmen, and merchants, including Bailey Gatzert. He was the first and only Jewish mayor in Seattle. Thriving communities sprung up in small towns. You know, a number of people came for the prospect of gold. Much of Seattle history is a history of its Jewish residents. Some of the founders of the Pike Place Market. In the early 1900s, a Jewish neighborhood nicknamed Kosher Canyon took root in Seattle's Central District. You can still see inscriptions on some of the buildings. Many relics live on to tell this rich history in the Washington State Jewish Archives, housed at the University of Washington. Almost 500 oral histories. My family moved from California to Seattle, Washington. Nearly forgotten chapters spring to life from the birth of the now iconic Benbridge jeweler. They left Altoona, Pennsylvania and came here in 1912 where he established the antecedent of our company. To the life story of renowned artist Maria Frank Abrams. He was very fresh and alive in spirit, but rather fail physically. In some ways, it's really a who's who of 20th century artists here in Seattle. Some of the most impactful artifacts are the ones that capture everyday life, like the scrapbook of one of the UW's first female pharmacology students, Bella Krakauer Secourt. I like so many things about it, but I think one thing in particular were kind of the decisions she made in creating it, you know, where she put everything, you know, how she put it together and arranged it, and that we have it now, you know, decades later to enjoy. The Jewish archives, now digitized and available online, present snapshots of the past, from the world's largest bagel to the humble origins of some of our region's businesses. The horse and buggy better than the car because the horse would follow him wherever he went. Washington State's Jewish history is in good hands. History of the past, history of the present, and making sure that it's here for future legacies. Fascinating.